Hey everyone, Adam O'Brien here. I am the founder and CEO of Bitcoin Well, and today we are going to talk about the differences between a Bitcoin node and a Bitcoin miner, both essential and integral to the Bitcoin network, but having very, very different purposes. This is a Bitcoin node, basically a very, very small computer or a Raspberry Pi paired with a one terabyte hard drive. Now, this is super, super important to the decentralization of Bitcoin's network. Every single person that runs one of these nodes has the entire blockchain installed on it. The blockchain is a list of all the transactions, all the history, and all the balances in the Bitcoin network. These little nodes running all over the world reach what's called consensus. Consensus is the instance that every single node is cross-referencing with each other to make sure that the network is in tune and is in check. You can imagine if there were only two nodes running, it would be very, very easy for two people to change what the entire Bitcoin network looked like. With tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and even millions of nodes running, it is a lot more difficult and a lot safer for everyone to trust the Bitcoin network. A Bitcoin miner, even when they're as dusty as this, are what help bring Bitcoin into supply. These miners are attached to a mining pool or mining independently for one purpose, solving an algorithm. These Bitcoin miners attack the Bitcoin algorithm to bring Bitcoin in a predictable rate of supply into circulation. On top of all that, they're also confirming transactions and sending this data to the nodes to make sure that everyone's in consensus. Miners make money two ways. Every single Bitcoin transaction that's sent is attached with a mining fee. This mining fee goes to the miners to help incentivize them to confirm transactions quickly and efficiently. They also make money by solving blocks. Every single time a block of Bitcoin is brought into circulation, that Bitcoin goes to the miners. The miners then choose whether they're holding them or going to sell them onto the market to help cover the costs. Costs are very, very different between miners and nodes. A Bitcoin node costs absolutely nothing to run. It is the equivalent of charging your cell phone at night. There is hardly any power draw. You need an internet connection, a $200 Raspberry Pi, and a $200 hard drive. It is very, very affordable and efficient way to keep the Bitcoin network safe. A Bitcoin miner, on the other hand, has exuberant power costs. The Bitcoin algorithm is designed to get harder and harder to solve over time. That means these miners have to get faster and faster, stronger and stronger, and therefore take a lot more power to do so. Mining Bitcoin consumes power, which of course costs money. Miners, however, are very incentivized to use as green and as cheap of power as possible. This has caused mining farms to rush towards countries like Iceland and Canada, where power is affordable, and also there's a heavy stance and availability of renewable energy. Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency. This means we need the nodes and the miners to run the network efficiently. Without the nodes, there can be no consensus. There's no possible way the Bitcoin network would be so safe. Without the miners, we would not have a predictable rate of supply. The Bitcoin price would be even more volatile than it already is today. At the end of the day, Bitcoin is designed to be a peer-to-peer -peer store of value. This means that you can use, own, and control Bitcoin without the need for a third party. Nodes and miners help you do just that. If you have any questions about Bitcoin or you want to learn more, please get me on Twitter at Adam O'Brien underscore and use the hashtag Ask Adam O'Brien. We're going to be scrubbing this hashtag and getting all the questions being asked and answering them in live streams periodically. If you want to learn how to build a node, please click right here. We've made a video showing you how to do just that. Also, visit adamobrien.ca to follow me on other social media platforms and get to know more about Bitcoin. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.